a fond farewell to Fairyland Pond. And now we begin <coughs> the segment of the trail which brings us to a more noted pond, Walden. This is probably a great time to visit given as how school's in session, it isn't so hot, so you won't have a lot of swimming going on. Probably some dog walking or something. Communing with nature. The seat of all things Henry. Here in his stomping ground. This would appear to be a cart road of some ancient tree. Ancient tree. <coughs> and the kingfisher is making his funny rattle noises. Funny, the Australian kookaburra, a rather animated bird, is the counterpart to a kingfisher down under. And here's a red trail going off. We're on something yellow. Looks like an interesting trail. Each of these town forests deserve their own special exploration. Parts of the Bay Circuit that pass through them are like an introduction, but I've yet to run into a, an unappealing town forest. And you can hear wheel wine. A bunch of busy little local roads near here. The gateway to northern Massachusetts, old Route 2. 126, which is, I believe, the upper trailhead of this place is located. 117. Concord has been a hub forever, as well as a place with substantial deposits of exemplary soil because it's an ancient glacial lake bed. For all we know, this is just one part of that old glacial lake bed. And here's another one of the comfy benches thoughtfully provided by the ever helpful citizenry of Concord. The indication that we want to turn and so we shall, we're gonna have a little excursion 
on the red trail. This is where I came in and go through the parking lot and elsewhere. And this is how we make our way to that kettle pole pond nearest and dearest to American memory when thoughts turn to Kettle Hole Ponds Walden. Day warming seems to have disturbed mosquitoes a bit. <coughs> the road can't be too far off from here, mm -hmm. judging from the growing volume of vehicle noise. We'll have to tra traverse that raging torrent of traffic I've long known and loved called Route 2. Ah, interesting rising of a hill. This probably is part of a old Glacial Lake Basin. Kind of a hefty climb for an out of shape aging jackass, but we'll see what we can do. Huh. Some kind of little trail indicator down there. The something trail. Kind of a floodplain wetland. With a strange little stream coming seemingly out of nowhere. Brister's Spring. That's what the little sign says. Brister's Spring. Did seem like a stream coming from out of nowhere. And judging from the height behind it, it's got a pretty nice area to gather water from. Cool. So we came from this way, and this will take you all the way to Newburyport, ultimately. And this brings us ever closer to Walden. And if we kept at it for a couple of days, we'd find ourselves down in Duxbury. Ah, this little ravine veil thing was a helpful way to gain a little height. Now we continue toward Walden, rounding the bend, gaining a little more height. Yeah, much of this is contoured, as if it could be <coughs> the bottom of an old Glacial Lake. Whole fairly intricate grove of hemlocks there. 
We're on the north, they're on the north side of something. Betcha. <laughs> We're not far from the trailhead at all. Should be right up ahead. <laughs> 